Hey Love Tribers, peace. Today, I'm going to share with you a really simple dressing that I whipped up this evening and it turned out pretty good so I thought I'd share it with you and it's really easy. So what happened was uh, when I got home this afternoon after running errands, there were just a few things in my refrigerator that I wanted to prepare for dinner so that they wouldn't go bad because we are headed to the beach tomorrow. So um, what I had was a, a really beautiful squash. I've already sliced it, but I had a really beautiful squash from the farmer's market and it was pretty large. And I had some really gorgeous kale and I had a, a few sweet potatoes, all of that from the farmer's market. I had three avocados about this size and I had a bowl of lemons. So what I did was I, I put a cup of reverse osmosis water in my blender, blender mug. So I always do the liquid first. So I put the, um, whenever I'm blending stuff, I get the liquid in there. So a cup of my reverse osmosis water and then the juice of just one lemon. So I squeeze the lemon, put the juice in, the, in with the water and then I sliced two avocados. I just sliced them, removed the seed, and then I scooped out the avocado and put the avocado, um, two avocados in the blender. And then I added a teaspoon of ground black pepper and a teaspoon of my Himalaya salt and then just a pinch of some ground cayenne. And that was it. I tossed that in the blender and, you, and I have a Vitamix, but this would probably work in any blender. And I just blended it up and it turned into, it just came out this whipped uh, avocado um, creamy yumminess. So I've got it in the bowl here. It turned out pretty thick. And so what I decided to do was just slice up the, um, the squash and I've just been dipping the squash in there like a dip. Mm. Mm. It's really good. It's got kind of a peppery flavor and, and then I used it as a dressing over the kale salad. So it's kind of a thick dressing, but since the kale is so hearty, it turned out really good. And then I just sprinkled some hemp seeds. I had some hemp seeds and I just sprinkled those on top of the kale salad and then I baked some sweet potatoes. So I've got a couple of sweet potatoes and my kale salad and then I've just been munching on the, um, the squash and using this avocado dressing like a dip. And it's great, so I wanted to share it with you. Um, you know, give it a try, and what you can do, if I were going to use this as a dressing for say, a romaine, I, I could see this as a dressing on a romaine salad, or you know, a lighter salad, but if I were gonna do that, I'd probably use a, a little less avocado, so it had more of a dressing um, consistency. But if you're using it like a, a dip, this whipped consistency, the thicker consistency was really good. So if you're making it, you know, just decide what kind of consistency you want and either use a little less um, avocado or maybe even a little more lemon. This could have probably had even a little more lemon. If you like lemon, it could have had a little more lemon in it or maybe some other seasoning. So if you give it a try, let me know what you think. It's always fun to see what you guys are doing, the spins that you're putting on some of these recipes. It's just really inspiring for me. So I really appreciate you guys sharing. And um, that's really about it for tonight. So, you know, if you like this uh, recipe, don't be shy, give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more vegan recipes and other tips to improve your health, and raise your vibe, uh, uh, things like yoga, mudra, and pranayama, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Love Tribe. That's L-U-V Tribe. Until next time, stay grateful, stay joyful, stay playful, keep raising your vibe. Peace out, everyone. I'm headed to the beach.